Hey, I'm Pastor Colin, and I'm excited to welcome you to Kids Worship today. We're here to worship and sing and learn about God's big story. God's big story is all about love. God created this place that we call Earth, and He sent angels and prophets to be messengers to tell us about His amazing story. And when our sins separated us from God, He sent His Son Jesus so that we could be forgiven. God wants us to be friends with Him, and He invites us to be in a relationship and to ask Him to be in our hearts. We love others because He loves us, and the Bible tells us the story of God's never-ending love for all people and how He wants to be with us always. We all get to be a part of God's big story. This month, we get to learn about how Jesus came to hang out with people. Jesus made special friends that He calls disciples. Those were people that followed Him and to learn about God, and He wants us to do the same. Jesus was friends with people from all over, people who were young and old, people who were sick, and people who others didn't really like. You see, when we learn about Jesus, we learn that He cares for everyone. Have you ever thought about what makes a good friend? Well, Jesus is the best kind of friend that we can have because He's always there for us. Maybe think about a time this week when you can spend time with Jesus and hang out with Him because Jesus loves to hang out with us. Sing, you love me, this I know. You love me, this I know. Your arms will never, ever let me go. You'll be there by my side forever, together till the end of time. Why should I ever be afraid? You're with me every day. You love me, this I know Your love is something that I love to show You teach me every day That I can live to give your love away Why should I ever be afraid? You're with me every day I know you are my strength And you're the one who saves Always Your love, your love is so unshakable You never change, no You are faithful Sing it out, let the whole world hear Your love, your love is unshakable Yeah 
are very special in today's story. Hmm. Let's see. <gasps> a toy train. Hmm. They didn't have trains back in Jesus' day. What could that have to do with our story? Hmm. <gasps> a doll? I love her train. <sighs> hmm. Let's see what else. <gasps> a ball? was an amazing teacher and people came from all over to see him. He would heal people who were very, very sick. He even did other amazing things such as feeding more than 5,000 people with five loaves of bread and two fish, walking on water and calming storms. It's easy to see why Jesus was becoming a very big deal. One day, while Jesus was teaching, parents brought their children to visit him. There were lots of people in the crowd who were ready to meet with Jesus, so the children excitedly waited their turn. Imagine how happy they were to finally get a chance to meet him. But a few of the disciples told the children Jesus was very busy. The disciples told the kids he was too busy to spend any time with them, so they would need to go back home without meeting him. But Jesus overheard what the disciples were saying. He told the disciples, let the little children come to me. Don't keep them away. 
God's kingdom belongs to people like children. Then Jesus welcomed the children and he gave them hugs and he blessed them. Wow! Did you know Jesus cares for grown-up people like moms and dads, grandmas and grandpas and neighbors, and he also cares for children just like you? I think I'm starting to understand why our mystery bag had all these toys. Jesus loves children. Jesus is powerful and does amazing things. He can do even more than we can imagine. And sometimes we might start to think Jesus is too busy or too important for us. But Jesus is always here for us. He wants us to come to him like the little children in our story. And he always welcomes us because Jesus loves you and he loves me. Don't forget, Jesus loves us.